Okay, let's have a look at the question. Two men together start a journey in the same direction. They travel nine kilometers per hour and five fifteen kilometers per hour. After traveling for six hours, the man traveling at nine kilometers per hour doubles his speed, and both of them finishes the distance in the same time. How many hours will they take to reach the destination? Try to take out the input here. Two men together start a journey in the same direction. They travel at nine kilometer per hour and fifteen kilometer per hour. Can I say A speed is nine kilometer per hour and B speed is fifteen kilometer per hour, and they are traveling in the same direction? After traveling for six hours, the man traveling at nine kilometer per hour doubles his speed, and both of them finishes the distance in the same time. How many hours will it take to reach the destination? Can I say that those people are moving in this direction? This is a simple approach. Okay. Yes. What they are told: A is traveling at a speed of a nine kilometer per hour. Nine kilometer per hour, and B is traveling at a speed of five kilometer, a fifteen kilometer per hour. Now, who is faster? Of course, B is faster. Okay. Now, what they have told after traveling for six hours. Now, can I say after traveling for six hours, A will be somewhere over here, and B will be somewhere over here? We don't know whether they are going to finish it or not, but they will be over here, right? So, what is the total distance traveled in six hours? Can I say nine six times fifty four? And fifteen six times is ninety. All right? Can you say this is fifty-four kilometer and this is ninety kilometers? Right? So what is the difference between A and B? This difference is thirty-six. So after six hours, A will be behind B by how much kilometer? By thirty-six kilometer. Now after this, what they are going to do is A is going to double his speed. Now I can say A is running with a speed of eighteen kilometer per hour. And B is running with a speed of 15 km per hour. Now, who is faster? A is faster. Now, the, what they have told: How much hour will they take to reach the destination? Now, what you have to do is: How much hour will they take to reach the destination? It means that, and that two at the same time, because they have told both of them finish the distance in the same time. If they have to finish the distance in same time, I can say that. A has to move 36 extra distance. Now, what is the extra speed of A? So now the time taken by A to move 36 kilometer extra, kilometer extra. Now I'll be taking out with the formula that is nothing but time is equals to distance by speed. What is the total extra distance? It is nothing but 36 divided by what is the speed? Speed is nothing but that extra speed you have to take. Yes, what is the extra speed here? Extra speed by A. Can I say it is three kilometer per hour? Yes, divided by three, you will get to know the answer is 12 hours. So if they are moving with the same speed of 18 km per hour and B at a speed of 15 km per hour, A will gap that difference. A will fill that gap of 36 km. Now we got to know that A and B moving for 12 km after doubling the speed, they will reach uh, the destination on time together. And before that, they have traveled for six hours, right? So total distance or total time taken, how much time hours will they take to reach the destination? They are not asked. After changing the speed, that as the total one, so this is nothing but twelve plus six, which will give us eighteen hours. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, for more updates and similar videos, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.